what is up you guys this is Michaela Panda and welcome back to the channel so today I decided to do this quick tutorial showing you guys how to get this really cool 3d effect in clip studio paint I have seen other tutorials for other programs on how to get this effect and I haven't really seen too many for clip studio paint and if you are like me I need tutorials to be program specific um, it helps me out way more than trying to convert techniques from other programs into Clip Studio Paint. It's not impossible, but it makes your life a whole lot easier when the tutorial is in a program that you're familiar with and a program that you know how to use. So um, we're going to start off with like a blank, a blank picture. You can do this with any picture at all. Um, whatever effect that you want, you'll, you'll be able to get this you'll be able to get this effect. So one thing that I would like to note is in Clip Studio, you are able to add correction layers as layer masks. As you see over here, if I were to hide this, then it would, it would, change, it would change colors. Um, and if you double click on this space right here, it'll bring up the level corrections or whatever correction layer that you put on top, it'll bring it up and it allows you to edit it afterwards. Um, I think this is the best way to do this kind of stuff in the event that you would like to recreate this effect without having to go and find uh, this tutorial again or another tutorial if you find one. It's a lot easier if you can just go back and reference some of the past drawings that you've done yourself because you may not be able to find that same exact um, tutorial again or you didn't know the specifics behind it and you can't really remember because I know for example for this edit that I did I edited the actual picture itself I didn't add a layer a correction layer mask so when I went back to try and find and recreate this effect I had kind of a hard time figuring out exactly what I did in order to do it so I just I advise that you just you know, organize things in a folder and have the correction layer mask on top in the event that you maybe you didn't like what you did and you wanted to like edit it and change some stuff. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and use that method. We're going to add some folders in here. Um, the first folder will be our blue folder and the second folder will be our red folder. And then we're going to click our image, uh, right click, duplicate layer. So we'll have two layers and one, each one, each of them are going to go inside um, their designated folder. So in order to add a correction layer mask, you're going to want to hit this tab right next to the layer window and then go to the new correction layer tab. And then we're going to go to level correction It's going to bring up this dialog box that has the RGB level, the red, green, blue levels together. And then if you click on it, it has them separate. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to click on the red and we're actually going to go down here to this output bar and slide the white one all the way over on top of the black one and that will turn the image blue, which is exactly what we want. <laughs> we want the image to be blue and then you hit OK. And then obviously you see the correction layer mask here and once again if you double click on it, you can go to the red layer and you can see the edit that we made. So for the next layer, um, first we're going to close the blue folder and actually hide it so we can make sure that things look correct because you, obviously you won't be able to see the effect. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing. You're going to add the correction layer, level correction, but for the red layer, we're actually going to go to green. And we're going to slide the, once again, the output, the green arrow, top of the black arrow. And then we're going to go to blue. And we're going to slide the white arrow over the black arrow. And then now our image is red, which is exactly what we wanted. So you're going to hit OK. And then you're going to close up that layer. So you're going to unhide the blue layer, or I guess the blue folder. And obviously, you know, you're going to have a blue one, you're going to have a red one. This is not what we want it to look like. We want the true colors to come back. So we're going to go to the blending mode up here at the top and we're going to scroll down until we find difference. And once you click on that, then the channels, they blend back together. You get your original image back. But in order to do the 3D effect, make sure that you have the move layer on 
and you're gonna use the arrow keys on your keyboard and the more you click it the more the effect starts to show and the more the effect starts to permeate and there you go obviously we don't want it to be that dramatic unless you do want it to be th that dramatic um, obviously if you hit you're removing the blue layer right now so if you hit left the blue will appear on the left side and if you hit right the blue will appear on the right side you know if you want it to be on specific side um, and then there you go the fact is it's pretty easy it doesn't take too long to do and this is the final result so I really hope that this helped you guys out I know that I haven't seen too many tutorials for clip studio to get this effect so here you guys go um, if you like this video please like leave a thumbs up leave a comment maybe some suggestions for other tutorials and I would love to have you guys subscribe and join the panda fam and if you do hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.